I'm about to give you an unpopular opinion. I don't think you should meal prep. Now, before I explain, if you've been meal prepping for years and it works for you, awesome, boo, you keep doing you. This video isn't for you. But if you've tried to meal prep before and failed or are starting to meal prep, this video is for you. Another thing is my advice will work for whatever dietary choices you make in your life, whether it's keto, low carb, low fat, vegan, carnivore, flex dieting, or even cookies. Although meal prepping is supposed to save a lot of time during the week, it requires much more time up front to prepare your meals. And if you're like me, you probably don't have much time to spare with, especially on Sundays when most people do their meal prep. This is one of the reasons I don't think you should meal prep, just prep. But a nice cup of discipline. So what do I mean by just prep? Well, you should prepare the ingredients that go into the meals that you plan to eat not the meals. At this point, I know you're thinking, how is this actually saving me any time? Truth is, is in cooking, the hardest part and most time consuming is the mise en place, the preparation of the ingredients. By cutting, weighing, measuring, cleaning, doing all that stuff beforehand, we set ourselves up for quick meals throughout the week. And the beauty of the mise en place is that it's mostly pretty mindless. You can watch Netflix or listen to podcasts or do whatever it is you do while you prepare. Hello? What's up, Steve? Nah, just prepping. For example, I use a lot of onions when I cook or as a garnish, so I'll typically dice up quite a bit and slice some and pick it for later. You can also slice or grate cheese, cut peppers, slice and dice tomatoes, wash and cut veggies, and if you eat certain starches like rice or sweet potatoes, you can cut and cook those beforehand for the week because they hold pretty well. You can also prepare bases like mirepoa or sofrito and then freeze them and use them whenever you need them. But you can also prep dry ingredients. I like to mix batches of my chocolate mug cake and also my pizza mix. This makes it much easier and quicker to bake when you feel like having it. You can also portion out ground beef and clean slimy chicken, then simply refrigerate or freeze. Another tactic I recommend is to have ready-made ingredients in your kitchen and also ingredients that can be used in multiple ways. For example, things like low-carb tortillas work really well for tacos, burritos, and chimichangas, or heroes. Another thing I like to keep is Greek yogurt. Necessary for tzatziki sauce, a replacement for sour cream, stick and sauces, and coupled with protein powder or something like peanut butter is an incredible, incredible, incredible power snack. Just make sure to clean, because ants. However, now that you've prepped your ingredients, you're probably wondering, what do I make? Figuring out what to make might seem like a really daunting task at first, but don't freak out. There's a really simple framework that I like to use to know what I'm gonna cook and when I'm gonna cook it. By having an idea of what sort of cuisine you're gonna have on what day, you know what ingredients to prep. Something like slow cooker Mondays means we can prepare like a pork shoulder on Sunday and set it and forget it on Monday for Monday dinner. What day of the week is it? Tuesday. Well, it's Taco Tuesday, of course. Burger Wednesdays, Thai Thursdays, and of course, Pizza Fridays. Now, I know what you're saying is this is a lot more cooking, and yes, that's a downside to this method, but it provides you with the flexibility to eat what you wanna eat. Just prep, prep different, different meals. meals at the same time. Sure, you can do that, but it's incredibly difficult to make multiple different meals for one or two people. It also gets really difficult if you only have one stove and a certain number of pans. So say you're supposed to have beef burritos for dinner today, but you really want a burger. So smash burgers it is. Since you basically prep the same ingredients, we just pick up some buns at the store, if you choose to eat buns, and you're good to go as long as you basically stay within your macros. You can even use that ground beef to make picadillo with the frozen sofrito you made. The common method for meal prep across social media, health and fitness magazines, and gym bros at the gym is you make the same meal for the week and maybe switch out the sauce. Although this is entire subreddits and hashtags devoted to it and it makes things incredibly easy, it also gets incredibly boring incredibly fast because it lacks variety. And this brings up the next part, which is eating the same thing over and over. Sure, day one of eating chicken and rabbit food might be exciting because you're thinking of all the things you're gonna achieve, but by day six, you're more likely to reach for that cookie and braise that rabbit in a coniglio al vino rosso, wasting time, money, and energy spent on prepping the food to begin with. But if you can repeat eating the same thing over and over and it makes you happy and it fits within your dietary choices, by all means, do it. Bruh, isn't that just meal prep? Kind of, but not really, because we're giving ourselves the freedom of choice. We could choose to make pizza, or we could choose to not make pizza, or pepperoni or sausage pizza. For example, I eat the same thing for lunch every day. Blueberries, almond milk, and protein powder. 
This lasts for about a month or two before I start to get boring, in which case I just switch out the fruit and potentially even the protein powder. The simplest way to add variety is basic substitutions. Things like swapping strawberries with blueberries, meats like fish for chicken, and sauces like hot sauce with soy sauce. And since we haven't committed to any meals beforehand, we can just swap out entire meals altogether. The key is to find the foods that work for you. Like cookie? I mean, if chocolate chip and sugar fuel your body, just go for it. Cookie! <laughs> So what are the five tips for success? Prep ingredients, not meals. This allows you to make a myriad of things without being locked into any specific meals. Follow a framework. Pick a cuisine on a specific day and do it every week. Just make sure Tuesdays are for tacos. Repeat when it makes sense. If you can eat something multiple days in a row and not get bored of it and it fits within your macros, by all means, do it. Number four. Variety. This can be done through basic substitutions, exploring different recipes within different cuisines, or just getting new recipes. Just don't get bored of what you're cooking. Number five, which is quite possibly the most important, is be honest with yourself. I used to go to the store and buy a box of salad and every time tell myself, this is the week I eat this entire box of salad. Except after a couple days it's spoiled in the fridge because I don't like rabbit food that much. So now, now I just buy a ready-made salad kit when I want it and I enjoy my salad and it's actually cheaper in the long run because I'm not throwing anything away. And in being honest with ourselves, we have to look at what we can actually change in the long term. A lot of times people jump into meal prepping thinking about the results they're gonna have months or years down the road. And when they fall off the wagon, they become disappointed. No, you're not a failure. No, you're not a disappointment. And no, you're not a bad person. At least we'll assume you're not just for this case. And so the reason I don't think you should meal prep is because you need to find the foods, the recipes, and the methods that fit within your lifestyle and dietary choices. The more you do it, the easier it gets. And the irony is, before you know it, you're meal prepping. My name is Dennis, and I'll catch you in the next one. This framework is so flexible, here's an example someone from my Patreon page actually sent in. On Mondays, it's pizza. Tuesdays, pizza. Wednesday, it's pizzas. Thursdays, pizza. Who, who sent this in? <laughs> huh. I'd like to talk about cookie. This cookie is so good. Hello.